Welcome to another screencast on Fusion 360 in the Invention Center. In this video, I want to show you how to get your model, um, your body, your product, what it is you're working on, and I want to be able to get it into Cura to 3D print it. All right, so here we go. If you haven't already opened, you should open Cura. Make sure that um, Cura is open and you've got it on the right printer that you want to be using. Um, for now, I'm gonna have it on Ultimaker 3, but make sure that it is open before we get started, okay? So, your finished design, now you're ready to 3D print. Um, I've got two bodies in here, and actually I wanna hide one of these bodies because, um, or one of these, it's a component. I wanna hide this because I don't want to print that. I only wanna print this piece. So I don't wanna print that, I just want to print this. So the, the next step now that I've got what I want, my next step is I go to file up here at the top and then I'm gonna scroll down and go to 3D print. This display box is gonna pop up and it's gonna tell me, oh, send a 3D printer. I can turn it off or I can turn it on. Um, oh, sorry, first thing I wanna do is select. So I can select what it is that I want to 3D print. So that's the object I wanna print. And I could not send it to a 3D printer. This is gonna give me the file to 3D print. But for us, because we know we wanna to go to Cura, I'm just gonna select in this menu, Cura, say okay. And then what's gonna happen is it will automatically send the file to Cura. So there we go, see it, it popped it in there. Here's my file. So you can see that's the body that I was working on in Fusion 360 and now I've got it in here, okay? So a couple things that you need to think about as you're, as you're considering how to print or where to print, what to do with this is how to sorry, is how you want to lay it out. So what I mean by laying it out is, is if you, for example, want to, um, I want to 3D print this, but what's gonna happen is right here in this spot, this is gonna fall down because it's not gonna be able to print in the air. So what I need to do is I need to rotate this model so that the B side of it is facing flat. It's really important to do this. If you don't do this, it, the print isn't gonna come out correct. So you need to make it, make sure that it's flat, all right? So the way I do that is I click on the object, then up here there's a rotate. So here I'm going to, I can see how I can turn this a different way. Um, and then I can also lay flat. It will lay it flat for me automatically. And I can look at it at the top so I can see that's where it is. If I wanted to also, I can rotate it a little bit more just so it's kind of a little bit straight. Okay, I can use this and go back. Um, so now I've got it flat. Okay, that one looks pretty good. And also just so you know what I'm using, I can hold down the shift bar. Um, if I hold down, if I hold down shift, that zooms and click, that zooms in and out. If I hold down shift, and I rotate, it kind of moves it, see it pans it. If I hold down control and rotate, it lets me orbit around a little bit, okay? All right, so I've got it where I want. I'm ready to get started printing. The next thing that I wanna do that's important is I wanna change the name. I don't want this to be my name when it gets printed, so I'm gonna delete that, and I'm gonna call it Panther B Mr. Orwine. So just name it something memorable, you click on there, rather than it just being some a list of numbers, okay? Now up here in this top right, I wanna change my settings. So the way that these settings work is everything's normal, that's okay, but there's a couple of things that are important. So see how this talks, of, this is the normal. I actually wanna make this a little bit thicker. So the way that I can do that is I can make it fast. So I'm changing the actual filament size. And I can also change, sorry, I can also change, oh, try it one more time. Yep, so there you go, fast, that's a filament thickness, that's the little layers. And then I can also change the infill, 
and turn it to, I can put it a lot lower because I don't need it to be really thick. So the infill is the stuff on the inside. So then I can turn the infill down and ideally I don't have any supports. And I also don't need any type of rafts or anything else. I'll go back to the recommended just so you can see a little bit better. Let's recommend it. So here I've got it down to 10. I don't need supports and I don't necessarily need adhesion either. That should It should print off just fine. So I can turn that off, okay? Close this window, then I'm gonna press slice. This may take a while. So it's quite big still. I can make it a little bit smaller just to make sure it fits, but this is okay for now. So what I'm gonna do is for now, I'm gonna save it to a file and you're eventually going to get the USB or the disk drive. You're going to plug it in and you're going to you're going to save this someplace you remember. So you're going to plug in that USB or that um, the disk uh, and then you're going to drop that drag and drop that file into one of those two and then you'll plug it into the 3D printer and away you go. So that's it. Taking your file from Fusion 360 and putting it into Cura. Thanks. Bye.